Hey guys, my name is Brandon. I'm an application sales engineer out of the Kansas City office for Aon. Today we're in Sudbury, Ontario, here in our mobile experience trailer. And today we're going to be looking a little bit more on our 5-ton air source heat pump, specifically the controls inside this unit. So this 5-ton air source heat pump is fully loaded, which you can see here as our engineering team has found a way to fit all our controls inside this unit. So right now we have the VCCX 454, which is our main control board. It does everything from VAV applications to CAV to single zone VAV, all pre-built into that controller itself. It has onboard BACnet MSTP as well as IP. So the VCCX 454 is the main controller, and then we also have some sub-controllers or modules like we like to call them. For example, we have the RM454, in which this unit was the Pro Series on our air source heat pump, which operates down to zero degrees ambient. And so the RM454 is always going to be on units with uh, BFD compressors on them. The other module that we have is our MHGRBX, which is responsible for basically just the reheat valve itself for dehumidification purposes. Now, the MHGRBX can be used as standalone or in this case it's going to be used with a VCCX controller. The other unique thing about this unit is our A12 mitigation boards. This is a R454 unit and so we have to have A12 mitigation sensors inside the unit as well. And so this board is responsible for the sequences involved in A2L mitigation. So that's a brief overview of the controllers on this 5-ton air source heat pump on the Mobile Experience trailer. Thanks so much for watching, guys.